Hello to you newcomers and welcome back my lovely subscribers. This is the Galactic Armory and I am the big baby. Now you might be wondering why I have this tiny little phase two clone trooper helmet on a stick next to me. Well that's for one simple reason. We are going to be destroying it. This helmet here, let's take it off that, is made out of PLA. Now PLA is the plastic I've been using for a long time. Uh, I've made a lot of great helmets out of it. It's very great for you know beginners to print and you'll get some great results from it. Now some of you also know that my clone trooper officer armor right here is also made out of PLA. So why am I bringing all this up? It's because PLA has some drawbacks that some other materials don't necessarily have. For one, it has a lower melting temperature. So if I were to leave my armor sitting in a car on a hot summer day, it would start to melt and warp. Obviously, I know not to do that because I know what it's made out of, but if I want to sell you guys clone trooper armor kits, which is a long-term goal, I would not want you guys to have to worry about that. I want you guys to just have it and then sand smooth, paint it yourselves, not having to worry about it getting damaged or cracking. Another downside of PLA is it's kind of brittle. It's harder than most other plastics, where something like ABS might be a little bit more flexible. PLA is more rigid and prone to those cracks. So I've had helmets, you know, cracked in shipments. So I'm gonna try and minimize that as best I can. A third downside to PLA is that it is notoriously hard to sand. Now, I've always been of the mindset that you, you're not actually sanding the plastic, you're sanding the material that you use to fill in the plastic. But I want to try some other materials, see if it actually is easier to sand using the same materials and methods that I do for PLA. So what is this new material that I'm gonna be testing? It is PETG. Now PETG sounds really great on paper. I've done a few test prints with it and it's come out pretty well so far. Very comparable to PLA in terms of uh, like finished quality. Some of the upsides of P PETG is that it has a higher melting temperature. So definitely less likely to melt if you were to leave it in a hot car. The second upside to PETG, what I've heard, is that it's easier to sand. Now PETG is a little bit softer than PLA, which means it should be able to be sanded away a little bit better than the hard PLA. The third upside is that it's just more durable from what I hear. It, you know, will take a lot of damage and won't really, and won't crack or break as easily as a PLA print will. Now you might be wondering, why haven't I done PETG the whole time? That's because of price. Uh, PETG is a few more dollars per roll than PLA, which might not sound like a lot, but I go through a lot of rolls of filament. The difference in cost would mean that I'd have to increase the price on all my helmets, which I've been reluctant to do for some time. What I'd like to do is offer you guys both the PLA option as well as the PETG option so that you can get that higher heat resistance and maybe easier to sand. I'm, I'm starting to rant, but I want to let you guys know basically my long-term goals. Right now, my focus is learn how to use PETG, get some quality prints from it, and then transition that into printing a full set of armor in it, and then selling that set of armor to you guys. That's the long-term goal. I would need a lot more printers to do that, but I have plans in place for that. Now this whole video is dedicated to testing the heat tolerance of PLA compared to PETG. Now I've got this poor little guy. Since the helmets are so are scaled down so far, the walls are kind of thin, so that's why his little face broke off. But this one is in PETG. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take my little heat gun down here, and we are going to blast both helmets with a continuous blast of hot air for about 
a minute, I would say. After that, we will see the comparisons between PLA and PETG. We'll get to see just how well the PETG stands up to the heat compared to PLA. So first, let's test out the PLA. Okay, so I've got the timer down there on the floor. Once it hits a certain time, I will start blasting this helmet with some very hot air. You know, this stuff, that's why I'm not holding the helmet with my hand. This stuff, this air gets really hot. So, just a little bit longer. I'm gonna try and keep it in the same place. So maybe we get a nice deformed helmet. And here we go. Okay, this is a, uh, ooh, it's toasty. This is after about a minute and 20 seconds. I just wanted to see what would happen if we kept it on a little bit longer. You can see the front face here. Ooh, even that's a little uh, squishy. The front face here totally collapsed in on itself. Yeah, this whole side of the face is just gnarly. Uh, it's still very hot, very squishy, and yeah. I haven't had any helmets look like this, and I really doubt a hot car would do this, but it just goes to show, ooh, I can like press the whole thing in. Yeah, it just looks like the whole face is melted off. So yeah, this is PLA. Did not hold up very well to a minute and 20 seconds worth of hot air. So I'm gonna set this aside for now, and we're gonna do the same thing with uh, Mr. PETG over here. I figure I'll do it on his, on his good side over here, just so that we get a good enough comparison between the PLA and the PETG. Here is the PETG helmet. It uh, did not fare as well as I had hoped. It's still pretty deformed, but to be fair, I did hold that heat on it for a long time on both helmets. I'd say it actually, it is better than the PLA, that's for sure. You know, it, it kept its general shape a lot better. Whereas the PLA, Sorry, the PLA here really began to cave in. PETG is still hot, but it's definitely not as squishy as the PLA, or was. Now the PLA is pretty cool off. I can handle it pretty well. I wasn't surprised that the little eye piece there started to droop, because that is really thin material and it's not too bad. I definitely think the PETG held up better. Not, uh, not incredible, but definitely better. So there you go, guys. That is just a quick, totally unscientific test of the heat tolerance of PLA compared to PETG. I want to keep experimenting with PETG since, you know, it sounds a lot better than PLA for cosplay. So look for more updates in the future. Like I said, the main goal is to print a whole new build in PETG and then make a new tutorial series for you guys similar to how I did the Battlefront 2 Coruscant Guard Clone Trooper Officer. That's always such a mouthful to say. In the meantime, I want to thank you guys for watching and as always, I hope to see you again in the next video.